<laughs> it's a school night. You well, got I, I have a little empty. 11 a.m. class tomorrow. I'm fine. Wait a minute. Oh, Congo Sanga. You did see Donkey Kong. Yep. That is going to be December 7th, end of 7th, December 8th, La Mirada, Holiday Inn. We're going to get a lot of top talent. I know we have uh, a Japan flying out. We have uh, Mexico being flown out. Uh, they're looking for uh, Europe to fly out European players. So, yet again, this is going to be the last big major of the year. Now, this is going to be an S tier tournament. No yeah. doubt it's going to be an S tier tournament. The, yeah. We already have 400, 500 entries at this point. Wow. So, yet again, and that's like three months from now. I can see us hitting like 800, 900 entries. Easily. Can we hit the four digits? All right. And now we have Nightmare on Smash Bell coming oh, up yes. in a week and a half from now. I, I am so excited for this. I'm going to be working as pool captain for this tournament. And I believe the last qualifying spot, the last chance qualifier for the second Smash Ultimate Summit will be at this tournament. Right. Whoever places highest and is not invited to Smash Summit already will get that invite. So I bet we're going to see a lot of the top echelon of players do get out to get that spot in the Summit. You know, and then now we have uh, 2GG going to New York City for the Tri-State Showdown. New Jersey. New Jersey. Well, I mean like Tri-State, so like New York, like yes. East Coast area. Yeah. Collision, 2GG, both very respected tournament organizers. Right. So I'm excited to see them I mean, collab on a The East Coast event. and the West Coast coming in together for an amazing tournament. Like there is nothing better than that, you know? Yeah. Maybe we'll see, you know, some of the top East Coast players. I know Nairos, Tri-State, The right. Buzz, maybe uh, Anti. I haven't seen much of him, but I'd like to see him. Light, Light Mars. Uh, Light Mars. Yeah. Man, that's region stacked. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of stack, though, Shuton T Grand Finals. Now, I'm not sure if I've seen these two play before, but I wouldn't be surprised. If that I mean, they're, they're both Japanese players. I'm sure they've run into each other in bracket. Yeah. Plenty of times in Japan. I did see them pulling out their secondary. I, like before the switch to advertisements, I saw Donkey Kong, probably Tease, and I saw Richter. The, the famous Richter. The, the dare Rick off of Red oh, Pikmin Richter. Richter. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. no, no. Wait. Nah, he, no. he, he saw the all-bar and was like, okay, I'm not doing DK. I thought I thought we were having a fun a fun and friendly match, and then you, you pull out your mana and be like, okay, it's going to be like that. It really do be like that sometimes, man. You're trying to have a nice, fun match with your friends, and they pull out the mana, and you're just like, okay, you're going you're gonna to take the fun out of the game, and then we're going to play try hard. Yeah, Olimar, you know, it's a character you need a lot of a focus to play against. Because if you let your guard down for just a moment, you'll blink and take 60%. Especially from that white kick thing, doing like 6% per second. And again, you know, trying to extend the combo with the reverse Galaga, but not going to find the market. No, Shuton manages to come back aggressively, but T just keeping him off stage. With all this pressure. Oh, uh, try going high, but no catches the roll on wow, stage instead. It's just such a dominant first stock, reading pretty much every way Shuton tried to recover there. Trying to set up another Galaga combo. Here we go, you know, like now he's in the lead. He can kind of like sit back, but did I say he could sit back? I mean, he has to get back in his seat to like really pump up his game, you know, get that gamer, gamer that, stance. That, that's what I was talking about. You blink and suddenly tease up 80%. <laughs> it's just two purples, one white. It's a disastrous combination. <laughs> God. No, Shuton was like, okay, okay, you got that first stock. I'm going to take this game though. So. Here we get a, wow, he tried catching the, the melon and it still managed to hit uh, Shukol. But sneaks in that bear. The purple back here, yeah. it just has so much move to it. Purple Pikmin are probably, I would say they're the most annoying ones to do. They take a lot of damage, they hit like a truck, and they have a knockback when you throw them as a projectile. All right. All right. Okay, ooh, I like that down tilt. Again, gets a grab, back throw, not going to be quite enough. Not just yet, he has the bell at the 
this disposal though. Right. We'll see when he chooses to throw it out. Instead, oh. Don chooses to throw him. I mean, Chuzong holding a, a, a page from Walmart's book and threw a projectile on the stage to cover his landing. Oh, oh, blue, white, purple, this is not... Okay, white gets thrown away and blue's gone. I you mean, you usually don't have to worry about blue until they're at like 110, 120%. Oh yeah, fair point. Though that back throw at ledge with blue can be... can do a lot of damage as well. I mean, it's damage, but like it's not going to kill you. And I, I feel like that's all of ours, like... MO, like he does a lot of damage, and then the things that are going to kill you are the purple Pikmin, and then the grab does. Uh, also throws. red Pikmin, you know, at these percentages, uh, red backer would definitely be good. I mean, at these percentages, like any backer would probably kill it. Okay. He's pretty close, dodging the grab and throwing an orange. Oh. He went for it all with the up smash, but instead gets punished with the back air. Chuton will take that first game. Here we go to game two. And now Shuton you know, lost the stock pretty early, but you know it manages to make it back in time. Looks like, oh, are we finally gonna get a counter pick stage? Nope. No. Just when I got my hopes up. People love PS2. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice neutral stage. You know, there's open area for combos, Wait. there's platforms <laughs> for extension. Wait. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah. T, T keeps on playing with me. I thought they were going reverse mains for a second there. Oh, that would be that would be interesting. Be like, um, I let, let's see how you play my character. All right. Again, all these nairs to just shake off all the Pikmin before they can really do a lot of damage. But you know, manages to fight his way in and just walling out T with the zone of Pikmin. Grab misses, but Chuton not able to get there in time to punish it. That one with the lingering sort of... Like grab hitbox, yeah. Yeah, grab hitbox. Alright, he using the fire hydrant to protect himself. Chuton has two purples on deck once again. Trying to start some Galaga combos. Gets up throw into up air. Oh, tries going for a grab, but gets an up smash into the face for it. Sends it the wrong way. Four smash will send Futon off stage. He doesn't have any big man on him. Well, you He's know gonna what? have to pull some out soon. I mean, you know, that's the thing. Like, with Olimar, like, not having Pikmin is not that big of an issue because, like, you could Pikmin pluck in, like, immediately, like, I smash it again, like, too close. You know? There's, like, no end back on that. Right okay, there. Get off me. Raising his fist in the air like he's at some sort of rave. This bumping. <laughs> oh, that trade, neither one will die, though. Great I mean, die from both parties. All right. Yeah, you know, you see T trying to go for the edge guard right there, but you know what? Not going to be able to find it in time. Gets a fair instead, and you know what? He's off stage. How will he go? Oh, my oh, God. No. I, I think he was trying to pull out. Maybe that was a misinput. I swear he's doing, like, the item pool animation in that last one. Platform. I'm noticing that he's retreating to that platform a lot, mostly because I think it's out of the range of those pick them being thrown. You know, I but like, yet again, like, Almar kind of just wants you to play back and like play like far away in the, the mid range game because that's where he can throw his pick down in safety. But you know what? Well, it's not safe that Iron Hydra does like, once it gets uh, launched, it doesn't have a landing like platform hitbox, so you just get hit by it immediately. Great setup from T. Down, but not out, certainly. He could, you know, get one of those Galaga combos. We've seen so many great combos from T this tournament. All right, stuck at the ledge. Just runs in there and grabs. Oh, trying to go all out. Crazy finisher with the board smash. He loves throwing out those smash attacks. But then again, so does Olimar. Yep. And I'd argue that all Mars is even worse because like there's hardly any uh, punishment for throwing it out. Yeah, you know, you throw out up smash, you spot dodge, and then you cancel it into a forward smash. That's one of the all of our specials. Oh, but I mean, there's that up smash, which hits both sides of all of our, by the way. 
And yeah. confirms it to Ariel's at yeah. low percent. Right. It confirms good. it to itself at low percent. Like, that's how good of a move that is. You can up smash, up smash, up air, up air, and then, like, get, like, a bear in you. All of a sudden, you eat, like, 70% off of that, depending yeah. on what you go to buy. Yeah, exactly. Smash and just T up and away. Yet again, Monique putting in a lot of work, you know. Every time T wants to get in, Monique is just right there in his face saying, no, you ain't touching my oh man. You my ain't giving this <laughs> apple to send the doctor away. You oh. are eating my big round body. He just, he just ate right through that apple. You, 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 think, you think fruits are going to stop me? No, I'm, I'm a plant. Plants beat fruits. A vegetarian diet. Or, or vegan in that case, I suppose. But either way. <laughs> I mean, are pigment plants or are they animals? Um, yes. 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 <laughs> Let, let's not get into that. Let's get into game three. T continues to tease us with his secondary, but I think if he wants to stay in this tournament, he has to stick with the pack. Right. If he were to choose a different character, that would be his way of saying, I I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Right, great way to start out. Good 27%. Here we go. You know, Shuton trying to get it his way in, but you know, not going to be able to find it. Gets an up smash, gets another up smash. There's an up air, and that is 47% right there. Oh my god. The, the damage output from Olimar, it hasn't been set enough. It's just insane once he gets in. You just have to be super careful. Do not let Olimar take, take an inch, or he'll take a mile instead. A mile? He'll take like 2, 10, 15 miles. Like, Death. He'll, He'll take, take death. 135 percent and take the first stock as well, and he's, he's just running away with it. There is no stopping this, Olimar. I mean, you see T trying to do his best, but you know what? It's just not enough against uh, Olimar of super level. But Eight, you know what? Bell confirmed. Yeah. Can never forget about the bell. For whom the bell tolls, and that shall be your bell. T tried to get something started there, but instead Shuton whistled through it the first time. This time, though, he's looking a little scary. And again, it's, 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 it's spoopy season. It's spoopy season, so things are getting really scary right now. And oh my god, trying to throw in that orange to get uh, any sort of range advantage. But you know what? T has just been so good playing on the offensive and just keeping Shuton out. You know, now he's out on stage, sneaks in un out and underneath uh, T's approach in the aerials, and you know what? Catches the up smash. You know, oh. T was doing so well, and then shoot home just, just having a, such an explosive comeback. That fire hydrant nearly killing T off the left side of the stage. He is taking his time with that recovery. Oh no! Can he make it back with the trampoline? No. No, no, no. that's so unfortunate. He wasn't able to grab the ledge with that air dodge. And this might be the end of Winside Night Fights if T can pull something to attack. I mean, he needs to take out the stock first before he can think about taking it uh, to another game four. Absolutely. All right, the stanky leg will do it, though, evening up the stocks. You know, 29%. That, that's a pretty easy percent for Pac-Man to rack up. And I love the immediate upbeat out of like get out of jail free cards just because it's just like you know what he's probably gonna up smash and i don't want to deal with that so i'm gonna up b to just avoid that at all possible trying to keep Utah off stage he does not want to deal with this purple pikmin but the purple pikmin oh the up smash nearly connects you know shutong at a very healthy 50%, you know, and all he needs is just the right line. He is at fighting this point. for his life. Yeah. He is pulling off all crazy things. I'm not even sure what he was going for with that side special. You know, I like that. He went for jab one, and like usually, like okay, if you get hit by a jab, you roll in. So he went for the immediate short hop uh, there just to like cover that roll off. Oh, double parry! T has to be so careful. You know, one purple up smash, one forward smash could do it for T now. There's the edge guard, you know. T has the opportunity he has to, to take go it. Out there. Great use of the fire hydrant. He used up his air dodge. How is he going to make it back? Great right. drift. 
guy is, is Shuton uh, channeling his initial D because like he's just drifting in and out of T's uh, attack range. Yeah. Purple and blue. Yeah. He has to watch out for aerials and grabs. I mean, purple, blue, and red. Like this is like two kill options and then a grab. Like oh my god. Like everything is on the line for T right here. And you can see it. Like he's not going in as aggressive. Like he's just trying to find his mark. This is such a high tense situation for both players right here. Did he just clip through the fire hydrant? He sort of just like. No clip through it right there. Right. Oh my Purple's god, both down. Of yep. He still has the blue though. He has to just stay out of the way of Olimar's grab. Oh Fire Hydrant, will that do it? Yes it will. T oh my god. is still living. We are going to game four. You know, I saw the key come out. It's like I thought he blocked the fire hydrant and dropped shield on the key. But oh you know, it was it was the fire hydrant that took this game right there. And T is barely alive to bring it into a game four. This could be the start of the first 3 0 if T wants a chance at winning this tournament. I mean, T's a strong player, but I, I highly doubt Shuton will get another first 3 0 if he has anything to say about it. Alright, game for Pokemon Stadium 2 once again. T starting it off with two fares into a grab. Feeling pretty confident about his play so far. Oh, it's a forward smash, just reading, calling the shoot on out. And yet again, no, all this offstage play, no. Shuton, I'm amazed, hasn't really been edge guarded all that much, you know? He's just been bobbing and weaving through all of T's uh, attack options, you know? Like that bear, the dare, you know? He just knows what T wants to go for and doing everything he can to avoid that in space. Okay, once again, Shuton, he had two purple Pikmin, threw one of them away. Red would be just fine with the aerial zone. Is he trying to land another forward smash? Can't blame him, it wouldn't kill at this percent. But then again, so will Purple Pikmin up smash. And you saw Shukong try and go for a grab right there, but unfortunately T having no end lag on that dash attack means that he can kind of go for whatever he wants afterwards and be safe. Yeah, absolutely. T dash attack will get punished. That is not safe, safe on shield. I mean, it's not safe like during the middle of the animation. Like the end lag is non-existent, but the animation itself is kind of long. Great DI from T. He is still surviving. Manages to air dodge to avoid that. Purple Pikmin, great tech as well. How is he still living? He can't tech that one though, and that will be the first stop for Shuton. Here we go. Now Bell on the field, and I love that. You no, know, running away and going for the grab instead of trying to challenge it with an area or with a smash attack. Knowing that, like, hey, I know this has like really good priority. Like, so I'm not gonna challenge it. I'm gonna treat it like Banjo side beat. Like, just just grab it. Wait, the white Pikmin interrupts the side special? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, up smash. T needed that. If he wants to stay in, he just, he has to do something here. How will he rack up this percent? How will he possibly take the stock? You see T just sitting comfortably on this platform, charging his crew, whatever he needs on the moment. But you know what? Olimar is no stranger to playing the long game, playing the long con, and he's going all the way out. Nah, uh, not enough. But I like the high recovery because he knows that like Shuton wants to go high, but gets the up throw up there and try and go for an extension, but not going to be able to find it. Shuton is just doing away with that up smash. Not quite enough to take the stock, though. That was a sour spot, so T will be living just a little while longer. But that, As I say that. Yeah, that wasn't a sour spot at all. And you know what? This is T's final stock. I mean, you know, he really has to turn it up this game four. He has to channel his inner MK Leo. <laughs> all right. Can T do it, or will Shuton be taking Wednesday night fights? He's taking so much damage, that's not good for T at all. Oh my god, that was so bold. So bold, but and Brash were not going to be enough to take it. And the Apple? Yeah. Will he throw it again? Yes, he will. I love the Apple throw up, because if you want to come in from above, like you would want to hit by that Apple again, and you would die. But, and you know, 103%. This is like curtain for T. Yeah. T has made some fantastic plays in this tournament. Some amazing combos, but done by his own fire hydrant will be how Shuton wins Wednesday Night Fights. And with that, that is <laughs> the Anthony. end of Wednesday Night Fights. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness.
What well, time good, good sportsman, is it? Yes. Good sportsmanship on both players' parts. They know that that was a really tight game on both players. You know, it could have gone either yes. way, really. These two very great friends, I'm 